Hey, Jenny Shee here from JennyShee.com. Today I've got a techie tip for you. Do you ever feel like you've got so many emails in your inbox that you're about ready to explode? I know I often use my inbox as a to-do list, which is actually a terrible idea. So one of the things that I do to not use my inbox as a to-do list is to have emails automatically filter out of my inbox into a special area so that I can tackle them only in pre-designated times. I use that tip all the time. I actually get several extra inboxes set up just for those special emails. So this video today, I'm gonna to show you how to set it up. I use Gmail, so I'm gonna use it and show you in Gmail, but you can do the same thing or something similar anyway if you use Mac Mail or if you use Outlook. So check out this techie tip today and help minimize your email overwhelm. Here we are in my Gmail account and I'm going to show you how to categorize, filter, and create multiple inboxes to minimize your email stress. First thing that you want to do is create categories. Categories of emails that you get in large quantities. For me, the ones that I use are Twitter follows, a group that I'm a part of, and a group that I'm leading. I also suggest you add two more items to your categories called to do and waiting. These are already created in my account and I didn't want to lose the labels, but I'll show you how to do it in case you don't know how. You want to go into your Gmail account and go over to settings, click settings, and then go to labels. You want to scroll down and you want to create a new label. So for my Twitter follows, I do underscore Twitter follows. And the reason why I do underscore is that puts it at the top of the list because Gmail puts all of these labels in alphabetical order and I want this at the top. That's the only reason. And so then you hit create and I have a label. You can also create labels for any programs that you're in that you get a lot of emails for. And I suggest, as I said, you create one for your to-do items and your waiting. This will stop you from using your inbox as a to-do list. All right, once you've created all your labels, the next thing you want to do is create filters. So here I have lots of filters in my email. If you don't have any, you'll see this right at the top. So you want to click on create a new filter. And it will give you this option for whether the email, you're going to filter based on who the email came from, who it was sent to, the subject, if the email has a words, or if it doesn't have words. And then you get to create some more specific options. Like I said, I already had mine created and I didn't want to uncreate them, so we're going to do that here. So this one is for the program I'm currently leading. And all of the emails for this group come through a very particular forum and they're all labeled in the subject with brackets around make money program because it's for how to, my, how to actually make money program that I'm teaching. So the trick here is to figure out the commonalities among all of the emails from that group. Usually it will be either a from address if it's on a list or a subject. And then once you pick what it is, you hit continue and then you choose. And in this case, because we're gonna do something really fancy and I'll show you in a minute, I'm actually gonna have it skip the inbox and then I want to apply the label, which I created called Make Money Program. And then I hit OK. And that's it, that was simple. I have a couple other ones and I'll show you. So I'm part of a Google group, and this one is different. It's sent to this Google group address. And that's it. So I'm in part of this mailing list and it gets into the Google group and that's otherwise the only commonality. Again, here I have it skip the inbox, then I apply the label, and that's all. The last one, is for my Twitter follows. Here it is. And it says, in the subject from Twitter, it always says, so-and-so is now following you on Twitter. So I hit continue. Again, I'm gonna skip the inbox and I'm gonna apply the label. So that's how you get all of your filter set up. So now we've created our categories and we've made filters. Now this is where the fun really comes in. You're gonna go to labs. And I, I'm going to show you this one from scratch. And you're going to search enable, or you're going to multiple inboxes. So just search multiple inboxes and it should pop right up. And you're going to hit enable, then you're going to save changes. Then you go back under settings, and you'll notice that there is a new category up here called multiple inboxes. So this is how I set up my multiple inboxes. Pane zero is, so you have to do is colon, and then the name of the label. 
So I have my inbox and below I like my to-do list so that my inbox isn't my to-do list, but the emails go to a separate place. Then my second pane is my AMGG list. The third one is my make money program. Now you notice here that I'm putting a dash in. My label wasn't labeled with a dash, but for every space you have, you need to put a dash in. And then the third one is waiting. And then I specify so that it is below the inbox and I hit save changes. Now you'll see I have multiple inboxes. One, two, three, four. It's perfect. Now all of these new Twitter follows any new ones that are going to come in are automatically going to go to the Twitter follows folder, which is over here. So I'm going to archive them. I don't even have to look at them. And now I have these items that I've labeled as to do. And that's this one and this one and this one. So they're archived. Now they're only in my to do folder. I have these ones that are only in my GG AMGG folder. These ones are my make money program and all these other things that I've got to do, but I'm waiting for something and I don't want to think about it right now. And that's it. So now I can just focus on dealing with these items. This is the immediate attention email. And when I have a longer period of time available, I can go and address the items in my to-do folder. And then for chunks of time, I will send, I will reply to all of these emails, and then I will reply to all of these emails, and I'll go here and decide who I want to follow and not follow back on Twitter. But what this does is it allows all of those emails that I get for this group and for this group and for this category to get out of my inbox so I don't have to look at them because they're going to come in all day long, all the time, and I don't want them to always zap my attention. When I'm in my email, I want to know what I'm doing at any point in time. So this is how to use it in Gmail. Go ahead and give it a shot. If you're on Mac Mail in Outlook, you're going to use the filtering and special mailboxes or special folders options, so the setup will be a little bit different. But the gist is to get the stuff that doesn't need to be in your inbox out of your inbox and into a place where you can deal with them in a systematic way. For more business tips and great ideas, come and join me at jennyshe.com. Got more coming to you every week.